For the next few days, we've got the family out here in the woods and we're staying in this tiny house. While we're here, we're gonna check out the HVAC system. Before we do that, we're gonna go do some hiking. So after just a short little hike, man, we found a beautiful waterfall. Huge rock walls. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Man, that hike was freaking amazing. That waterfall was gorgeous. And it was super close to the house, so that's awesome. But yeah, we're back to the house now. It's time to go check out the HVAC system on the tiny house. All right, so I'm gonna check out this outdoor unit first. So we're dealing with a Mitsubishi 20,000 BTU system. They got it hidden behind this retaining wall here, which looks pretty good. Uh, this tiny house is built on a foundation. So they've got the refrigerant lines ran underneath the foundation over to the condenser. Now what I don't like is that they coiled up the line set behind the condenser instead of just cutting that to length and making it look really nice. About this install is how they ran the piping through the from the foundation to the unit and they just left the hole open. They didn't seal that off so uh, you know animals can get in there and also the insulation is not protected. Well, the sun can break that down over time, animals can chew on it, whatever the case is, and then you, you're left with bare copper lines, which at that point is not efficient for the system. Now, the unit is right in front of this window, which is not a problem because these condensers, they're whisper quiet. You're not gonna hear them run whatsoever. We've been here for a couple days now, and I have yet to hear that run. So that pretty much covers this outside unit. Let's go inside and check out the indoor units. All right, so here we are on the inside of the tiny house. Like I said before, it's a 10 foot wide by 36 foot length. And like any traditional tiny house, it's pretty much an open concept with a loft. Now in this main area where the seating is, where you have the kitchen slash uh, dining room, hangout room, living room, whatever you want to call it. We have one unit up here on this high wall. This is a 9K indoor high wall unit. And then we have a wireless thermostat over there on the wall. Now, what's really cool about that wireless thermostat is it's wireless, right? You can put it anywhere you want. I really like that. Instead of using a traditional remote, we're using an actual thermostat that has a program built into it. And that particular thermostat, I like a lot. It's actually a traditional Honeywell, but it's just rebranded for Mitsubishi to utilize with their ductless units. I really like that a lot. So we've been here for a couple days now and I've been really paying attention to the sound of the indoor units and the outdoor unit. Uh, the temperature as far as how much it really went up and down, if it was pretty uh, steady. I was really just paying attention to the whole experience and I gotta say, I am super pleased with these units. I mean, they're just dead quiet. You don't even hear them, especially the one that's in the master, it being a really small room at night, you know, you set it and you forget it and you don't even hear it run. So man, I, I really like these units. If you guys have any questions 
about uh, using ductless units and if they work well or if they don't, they work phenomenal, especially if they're set up right. Now, as you can see up here, we have a lofted area. That's where the kids were sleeping. There's no condition up there, right? So it does get a little bit warmer and that's, you know, that's normal. But they do have a fan, a little small um, table fan up there that helps kind of move some air. But with this being up high, it really does help uh, reduce that heat load that's up there at the vaulted uh, part of the ceiling. So, it, you know, it wasn't really too hot and the kids slept just fine. So, uh, like I said before, it's a nice open design. So the, the temperature felt even all the way through the, the tiny house, even to the bathroom. There's no vents or anything in there and it felt like everywhere else in the room. Obviously, you want to keep the door open all the time unless you're in there using it. But other than that, the temperatures seemed very steady um, and very comfortable. So uh, we're going to go into the master bedroom now. I'm going to take a look at that. And uh, it's a pretty small room, but, you know, I just want to give you an idea of how they have the indoor unit set up. So this tiny house is set up for two zones. You got one high wall in here in the main seating area, and then you've got another one in the master bedroom over there, which is great. So when we go to sleep at night, we can crank that sucker down to 67 degrees like we like to sleep. And then in here, we keep it at, you know, 69, maybe 70 degrees because the kids don't like it as cold and everyone's happy. Okay, so I'm in the master bedroom now. And as you can tell, we're in a very small, tight space. And we've got a 9,000 BTU here above me with a thermostat on the wall, basically just like the system out there. Now, one thing I wanted to notice when we were sleeping was, did it maintain temperature very well? And then also how loud was the system? And I gotta say, these systems are super quiet. You don't hear them running at all, even in a very small room like this. And the temperature stayed right at 67 all night long. So. I highly recommend these systems for small rooms like this or really any situation. Uh, as long as you're okay with not having any duct and it's more of an open design like this house is, you're gonna be super happy with how these units perform. All right, so to wrap things up, I am super happy with this experience, being out here in the woods, enjoying this tiny house with the family. It's been a lot of fun. And that ductless unit, man, I'll tell you what, did a fantastic job. So if you guys are on the fence about that type of equipment, I highly recommend you go for it. Now that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Woo!